Hello, I'm Emmanuel Bach. I'm back with the Two Minute Masterclass, and today it's Chausson Poem. What's so wonderful about the Chausson poem is that, and given that it's based on a tragic story by the Russian author Turgenev, is that it has this deep poignancy to it. And we feel that right from the start, from the orchestra introduction, which is quite dark and mysterious, and the first violin solo, which is really arresting. And we have to really find a way of truly communicating through every note. Each note has so much weight behind it, especially on the first page alone, uh, including the cadenza. And we really need to think about the right sort of colours that we want to find and the colours that we want to create. And I think the first colour is uh, there's something very touching that we have to find. And we can use a, a slight element of freedom given that we're playing on our own here. So from here... we feel each part of the phrase as we go along. And I think it's important that we make just ever so slight a breath before proceeding there uh, and adding an element of pain into the story that we've told so far here. That C flat really brings an element of pain into the story and uh, interestingly it's on another C flat that we feel the next bout of pain and that's in the cadenza here. And I think it's really important that we lean on the top notes, that's where the expression comes in and once we've built up the opening and really found some colours and I think use slides in the opening material, this cadenza is where the passion comes into play and uh, that builds up of course and then we have a return to this theme that we've introduced already here. there we can really afford to bring out the melody using vibrato. There's so much to think about just in the opening page and of course in the pages that come we have a build-up around central climactic points and it's really important to develop around those points but uh, just before the first climactic point I'd like to I'd like to show you something here. And there we can really build up and use the uh, time, the sense of time that we have on those trills. Um, and I think even on the third one we can, we can be even more emphatic. So that on that last one there we really feel the rise to that final E flat major. And of course, it's the E flat major that also concludes the whole work in total. That's all for today.